fact, this is the only fan-built replica that's out there. There's only two other trucks like it, and those are the trucks that are owned by Paramount. My name is Joe Fiducia. I am the owner of the world's first fan-built replica of Optimus Prime from Transformers Age of Extinction. This is 36-year-old Father Joe. He's built a full-size replica of Optimus Prime, one of the most renowned vehicles from the Transformers movies. Taking more than $4 billion at the box office, Transformers has fast become one of the biggest franchises in the world. In the 80s, he was the leader of the Autobots. He still is leader of the Autobots. He is that character that has the strong morals, the strong ethics. He's, he's always looking after the little guy, always making sure that everybody else is taken care of. But that wasn't the main reason why Joe decided to build the giant replica. The inspiration behind this truck was for my son. Let's go to the back. Ryan loves the Transformers just as much as I do. He's probably got hundreds of characters in his room stocked away. And uh, to be able to, to build something like this for him, I mean, he, he was the main reason I did this. I love Optimus Prime. It's just so cool having it in your yard. With the help of close friends and external parties, Joe worked tirelessly day and night to complete the job and own the world's first fan-built replica. In total, there was probably about 25 people, including myself, that were involved with this build. One of the first things I had to do, or actually chose to do, was get legal permission from Hasbro to build it. And uh, we had our legal team contact them. And about a month later, we got a letter in the mail from Hasbro saying that they approved. Weighing around 21,000 pounds, the spectacular truck is 30 foot long and just under 12 feet wide. And that means another tough job for Joe. Now, fortunately, there's no, no car wash big enough to take Optimus Prime through. Washing Optimus Prime is a full-time job in itself, especially during the winter time when all the salts from the roads kick up. You know, just a little drive around town and all of a sudden, I've got five hours of cleaning ahead of me. We actually ended up lowering it by about two inches because the original Optimus truck was much higher, but that creates a hazard for us when we're driving. The truck alone has a Detroit DD-15 motor in it. It's a standard Detroit motor. No fabrication or modifications have been done to the motor. Optimus is maxed out at 65 miles an hour. He can't go any faster than that. Paint scheme on this thing is, is quite intense. Um, he's got the red and blue uh, warrior colors on him, uh, but he also has a bunch of Autobot logos all over him between the front and the back. There's uh, over 16 logos. Obviously, one of the big things that you'll notice right off the bat is the big Autobot logo here on the front of the truck. Uh, this was actually a solid block of aluminum that was custom cut to uh, fit the contours of the hood here, and that was one of the most complicated pieces we had to make. Joe admits, now the truck is complete, he gets attention wherever he goes. Everybody's got their cameras out, everybody's pointing. It's larger than life. I am a huge fan. When I, when I first drove up, I thought it was a real thing. I'm really proud for my dad making this. It took him a lot of time, a lot of effort. It was worth it in the end. I could not have built Optimus Prime without the support of my family. It makes a big difference when, when you go up to somebody and you tell them, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter how impossible something seems, whether you're a kid or a grown adult, don't ever be afraid to try. You know, Don't ever be afraid to pursue what seems impossible because you never know one day you could be in the driver's seat of Optimus Prime.